There's the magical red dot. I hope everybody can hear me. Um, I'm fighting a cold right now, so I came at the worst time possible. But our presentation today is a uh, podcast, my class fast, and we're going to go step by step to uh, be able to get your class or yourself as a teacher to be able to podcast and have people to be able to listen to what you have to say. Very quickly, we'll do a, a poll here. If I can bring it up. Hopefully, everybody can see the poll. And uh, just your interactions with podcasts. Uh, what do you listen to? If you listen to it, record your own, or if you have no clue what a podcast is, you know, broadcast the information. Let's give a couple more seconds. Thank you. Now, real quickly, um, what I'm going to go through today is not going to be the only way you could uh, create a podcast. Uh, as a coach, I always tell my athletes there's many ways to do things. Uh, we're just going to sh sh do it my way. Um, there might be a better way out there, but this is the way I know it, and this is the way I like. So please uh, type in any other uh, hints or suggestions that might work better if what I'm saying is not working the right way. A little bit about myself. Uh, I'm in my seventh year educating the Lord's children. It's uh, an honor to be in Lutheran education. I am a byproduct of Lutheran education from kindergarten all the way through college. Um, I am a husband and father. I have two wonderful sons. And I'm a lifelong learner as Dr. Bull. I'm earning my master's hopefully in the spring here in educational administration and already thinking about when to go back for the Educational Technology Master. Alright, so we're going to do the step-by-step -step to podcasting your class. Um, here's our little podcast elf. Get a definition, what is a podcast or what are podcasts? And Nancy Bentley, who's at the Wood End School in Reading, Massachusetts, uh, this is pretty much a direct quote from her Blue School, um, Ribbon, Blue Ribbon School, presentation on podcasting. Podcasts are amateur radio shows that you can play on your computer or mp3 player. Podcasts are different from regular audio files because you can subscribe to them using an RSS feed. Now on the very first screen with the earphones, the little orange icon, that is uh, an RSS feed. So anytime you see that on a blog or a podcast, you click on it and you can automatically subscribe to get your information. So why create podcasts? Uh, having students create podcasts is a great way to teach students 21st century skills. And they require the students to move beyond the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic, and incorporate the three C's, creating, communicating, and collaborating. If we look at the taxonomy of Blooms, we know that creation is now on the top, and we just need to get our students to be able to create it. And it helps the students to be able to learn more and be able to uh, share the information with other students even if it's not in your own class, with podcasts you can be sharing against to the whole world and anybody can be uh, listening in and learning. Alright, step one. The first step is to uh, record your voice. Now, there's two major programs that you can use. Audacity, and if you, have, if you are a Mac user, you can use GarageBand. I am not a Mac user, um, so I don't know a lot about GarageBand, so we're going to talk about is using Audacity and uh, it's very easy even if you have a Mac you can download Audacity and use the same program. Really simply all you have to do is uh, on the top here if you see is uh, where's my pointer? Up here is the uh, there we go is the uh, screen that you'll see on Audacity and all you have to whoop, it went forward on me. Sorry about that. Well up here where the arrow is so you can see where the record button um, you just have to click it and and uh, and start talking. On the PowerPoint this the bottom part will be a video but just to to show you what that video looked like. and what happens when you hit play. As you talk, you can see the recording automatically tone. 
Okay. Let's take that. So that's pretty simple. You just hit record and you talk. You have your students talk, you talk, whatever you need. And then step two, as uh, you probably know, a lot of times you make mistakes or there's long silences. Um, when I do this with my students, there's usually thinking about what the word says if we're doing a reading thing. And sometimes there's a long pause. And when you record it back, you play it back, you don't really want that long pause. So what you can do is you can remove these silences and mistakes with Audacity. And very simple is you click on the where you want to start and you slide it over to the ending point and you just hit delete. And then the results will it'll cut it right in half and take out the silences. Uh, again, with mistakes, you can take off any mistakes that you do if you have to repeat yourself and you don't want your audience to know that you're stuttering or that you have to repeat yourself, you can just highlight it and, and delete it. Is there any questions so far? I'll just take a second here to see if there's any question. GarageBand is very simple for those of, those of you in Mac schools. Thank you, Marissa. Okay, moving forward then. Okay, this is a step 2.1 optional to add music. Uh, some podcasts, if you're going to do it on a regular series for yourself, you might want to create an intro music or closing music. Uh, here's the first one is the uh, podsafeaudio.com. That's a, a link. And there's, there's a lot of uh, appropriate songs and some non-appropriate songs, so you have to be very careful uh, if you are going to use students to create music. And then the bottom half is uh, when I was in Second Life one day, there was a presentation, and this was what somebody was talking about, all these different resources uh, for discovery streaming and be able to get free music, videos, pictures. Uh, so this is just another whole bunch of lists of what you could use. And if you have any other resources that you like to use, please add them into the chat area, and we can uh, continue the list. Also, always remember that uh, what is protected and copyrighted, you don't want to use uh, anything that is not you're supposed to be using. You don't want to use your favorite band song just because you like it. Make sure you have permission to use whatever material you are using. And step three is uh, saving it to MP3 format. This is so you can uh, put it into iTunes and uh, be able to uh, Larry yes most of them are copyright allowed uh, there's all oh, they always say read the fine print because most of them our users are adding them themselves uh, a lot of time bands or singers want to be able to get their music out there and allow them to use it so always read the fine little print on each of the pages and I believe I haven't gone to all the discovery streaming resources that they put on there, uh, but I'm sure since it's discovery streaming, they would have done their research first and make sure that it was legal. So saving it to MP3 format, um, I know this picture is a little bit hard uh, to see, but I will let you download the PowerPoint later and you can go through it all as you want. But it, all you have to do after you have it completely as you want it, you go to File, and then to hit Export. And then when, after you hit Export, it'll give you this little kind of informational box. And you can put your artist name or your class name, the track title, album title, depending on how much details. You don't have to fill them all out. You can fill what you want out. And then you hit OK. And then it will give you like a save, regular save box. Uh, and like on this one, I titled it I Worship You. It's a Mercy Me song. Um, and I just took a little bit of it for demonstration purposes. And then you hit save. Now, if it's the very first time you are saving it as MP3 player in Audacity, it'll probably ask you for a lame encoder. Uh, and then they give you a little download link that you can click, and it will you just download it like any other program and it will automatically be able to uh, 
save it as an MP3 file. I'm not sure if GarageBand does the. Oh, where it says we lost audio. Can anybody? Can you guys still hear me? Thank. Thank you, Kathy, Judy, Jeremy, and Larry. Okay. Okay, good. This is the first time I ever gave a presentation, so I'm nervous that it's going to go bad. Um, so you have to save uh, the lame encoder, and then that you only have to do that once, and then it, it automatically saves your MP3 files, no problem. And you could save it. I saved it in the file, just like you can save it in any file on your desktop, uh, as you would like. And then step four is sharing it. Now there's many different share sites out there, and um, I use Podomatic. Uh, it, there's a, it's a free. If you need more space or more bandwidth, there is a paid version, but I don't see a problem with what I have done so far to use the paid version. And um, so it's other sites out there if you want to add in the chat box different sites that you may use or know that will allow you to upload podcasts, you may do that. So other people will have other resources to use. Now, going through this, uh, Podomatic.com. And the first time you go on there, you need to uh, register. And then after that, you just need to log in. And we'll just go kind of step by step how to register. And um, very easy, kind of simple. You put your name in, your email and all that information. And then you add a photo so people know who you are. Um, it could be a photo of yourself or of a class or of, of a clip art that you have permission to use. And then you can choose your design. There are more designs than this. Um, I really like the uh, the one that's in the upper right hand corner it has the little earbud. Uh, it's like an iPod earbud. Uh, to me, that looks nice, but you might like the other ones. And then here you can see it. This kind of looks like a regular social networking site after you log in. You have your name. You can tell people what you're doing now. Uh, it gives you your latest activity, your friends, and you can have friends on here. And then events, and you can post events. And then on the bottom there, you can see Get Into Podomatic, and there's three different choices. And then you're going to want to click the Post a New Episode. So after you log in, you just find that on the main page after you log in, and you click on Post a New Episode. And then the first thing that comes up is a description. Tell, say what the podcast is going to be about, title it. You know, you put as big as a description or as little description as you want. On here, I was doing the Mercy Me sample in this few seconds of the Mercy Me song, I Worship You. And then you click on the Save and Continue. And then the next one, you can uh, select the audio or video clip. So you could have video, you could do the, the video cast. And then on the very first choice, it says Upload a File. That's the one I would select. Or if you already uploaded it, but maybe you didn't save it as a podcast yet, you could kind of keep all your things in a library, so you can select from your media library. Or you can record a webcam or a microphone, so you don't even need Audacity if you're brave enough to uh, kind of speak live to your audience, and you could just record straight through that. I'm not that brave, so I've never clicked on that choice. Or you can also use an FTP, which is probably... A, advanced for most users, or you don't, you don't even have to select an audio or video yet. You can skip it later. You always can come back to it. Then you can click on a, on a, when you click on upload a file, you'll get the nice little pop-up. So you, you need, might need to make sure your uh, pop-up ads are not blocked on this site. You should get a little warning that it would come up. And then select the file. And then and then after you select the file, you hit OK. And then you can see here, I, I uploaded I Worship You. It did it in six seconds. Um, you could select more than one file if you need to. 
and then when you're done you click on the I'm finished close this window and then click on the photo and then you can uh, there are different choices are you can upload a photo that you want to go with that podcast maybe you created a topic and you have a certain photo that you want for that podcast and then on your iPod it will show you uh, sorry I just saw the question pop up I have not had any uh, issues uh, all the feedback I had is they love uh, we don't ever say people's names we don't tell them who we you know our names on the podcast mostly what I do is they they are just reading their stories from our reading book and this way parents can hear it and uh, kind of know what, how their child is doing in the classroom other times I will use it for I will give um, introductions to our lessons or our units so the parents can hear it and the kids can hear it and go back to it as a review and I, I sent out a form telling my parents that this is what I'm doing um, if they have a question come ask me I had nobody come and ask me so you might want to depending on your parents or on your your uh, school policies do create a permission slip at our school we ha we sent out one for pictures and for our website but we did not have an audio on that Larry could probably answer that more quickly since he's he's at my school and he's in charge of our technology and correct you can get implied consent now if a parent came to me and asked me I don't want my child voice on there it would be not a problem you could easily work around it you could you know just so the child doesn't feel left out you could record their voice but just never in audacity and then just delete it or save it on your computer and not broadcast it you don't have to save it with the file so those are good questions so after you have a photo again I would I don't use photos of children uh, usually I just use the regular photo that Potomatic puts on there next you could uh, click on the tags um, if you were in Kathy's last thing she was talking about Digo and putting tags so people know what can search it so that they want to search for your name um, they give you some suggested tags and then some recent ones that you probably used uh, I don't usually put tags on this because don't really care if other people are searching for it because I post it up for my parents to see on the website um, then you also have three choices for uh, for iTunes uh, for the clean and then there's can't see it because my screen is small uh, none if you are sure to, it is appropriate for all audience and you're just your parental permissions type thing that you'll see on iTunes if it's using a cuss word or hopefully we're not using that one at other and then finally it will you review it and publish it and on here your episode is ready to publish please review it and then click save and continue save and continue to continue and then you can see where it'll give you kind of the mercy me sample the title that's what I called it it has your media what file you're doing uh, you could add chapters if you're a pro user that's cost money huh? so I don't I'm not a pro user and then it tells you like the media formats and then as you can see there the picture I uploaded the uh, picture that I used for this presentation and then the description and then tags I did put a tag on it. it looks like I put demo and I put a clean filter and then it, on there you can publish now or you can save it for later if you want to save it for later and then you just hit the save and continue and then it'll say your process your episode is now publishing it will take a couple minutes for it to publish and to actually show up on the screen on the uh, on your main screen um, but it, it's not really it does and it says two minutes I never seen it take two minutes it's usually 30 seconds by the time I click on it again it's it says it's published 
So then if you click back on the promote in the top in that right corner there, you click on it again, then you'll be able to uh say promote your promote it and grow your audience, um, depending on how you want to do it. You can email people in your address book, you can uh put it on Twitter, you can post it up on Twitter. Sometimes I'll do that just to let my uh PLN know what I'm doing and put it on Facebook. Uh, I follow some parents, and so I'll put it on Facebook, so they can listen to it right through Facebook. And you can there's embed it into the website, or you don't even have to do that. It you have your own page in Podomatic that keep it. So this is the what the page will look like. Uh, again, here's the earbuds format. It gives you put your picture, just like any. Uh, social networking site on the right there and then you can play you can send it to friends you can leave a comment you can download it um, and again there's the picture that I used for Janet I'm not sure because I don't use headline um, you can but I'm sure you could if you could put any an uh, HTML t uh, URL on there uh, you can because each podcast will have its own specific URL. So, and if you can embed you can HTML into Edline, then you'll be able to. You're welcome, Jeremy. And then Jeremy says that uh, Edline wasn't using RSS feeds. Yeah, again, I don't use Edline, so I'm not sure about that. But you can um, subscribe to it through iTunes, and that's what I'll show you next. On here, if it comes up. Oh, my pointer came up. Oh, now I'm having some problems here. Allison, do you know how I can get rid of my pointer? Sorry guys, it's not letting me pick the next slide screen. Don't you love technology? I think I got it. There we go. Alright, so on your profile page, um, it will, if you can kind of see in the top screen, it has that picture, and then you can share the podcast through an email. You can become a fan. And then there's a subscribe to this podcast. There's the RSS feed, and then there's subscribe with iTunes, um, and then the Google and my Yahoo. So if you, if you want to subscribe or have your parents subscribe to it for their iTunes or iPod so they can listen to it anytime they want, they just need to click on that subscribe with iTunes button. And then when they do, it will automatically open up their iTunes and incorporate into their their page. So here's uh, what it looks like. Just like on your podcasts, on iTunes, you'll have your podcast. And then real quickly, what I want to just share with you uh, what my students did. Now, this is from beginning of the year, so it's they were still learning how to read out loud uh, and for public so be be kind to their 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 trials here um how i spent my summer vacation written and illustrated by mark k when summer began i headed out for the west your imagination my parents told me I needed a rest. Your imagination, they said, is getting too wild. It will do you some good to relax for a while. So they put me aboard a westbound train to visit Aunt Fern in her house on the plains. But I was captured by cowboys. I 
a wild looking crowd. Their manners were rough and their voices were loud. I'm trying to get Stop it right there. So you get the idea of that. Uh, that was from our first reading story and so each kid took a turn to read a page from our reading book and I just recorded in Audacity. Took out a lot of pauses and a lot of mistakes. Uh, still didn't catch them all there I can hear. Uh, but it also gives the students time to learn to public speak. Um, again I'm teaching third grade so we don't have a lot of public speaking opportunities yet and uh, be able to be comfortable with a microphone and being able to speak with clarity and and they, they have improved um, I should have I don't have a recent one that they've done but they have improved greatly um, I also have the students they will record some interviews yeah with each other I'd pretend that there are different characters in the Bible or characters in history uh, that could be an excellent for any age level. Uh, also I have them read their study guides. Um, one time I had one child read our math sheet to us and then he gave the answer after he read the question. So there's plenty of different things that you could do and if you'd like to share maybe some thoughts that you had with everybody in the chat box about what you could use podcasts for would be great. And then other people, when they come back and see it, they can see other ideals and we can be sharing with each other. So that's pretty much uh, what I had. I'm sorry it's kind of short, um, but I want to give enough time for you guys to ask questions. And again, I'm not in the best expert of them all. Uh, see some of the people in here can probably answer some of the questions that I can't answer. And as while well, we have this up, I will also put up on here all the files that I have that you guys can easily download and please if you want to maybe give a presentation about podcasts and you want to use some of the slides I had go ahead it's free for you to use yes Larry audacity is a free free download uh, Janet for what for podcasting, I use Audacity, and then, then I use the web-based Podomatic. Larry, you could probably answer better what kind of microphone, because I'm using the one that you gave me that was that's like in our computer lab. It's not thing anything special, Jeremy. Marissa, I'm not sure what podcast producer is. Is it a application or software or is it a web based site? Oh, I'm not a Mac user, so I wouldn't know what that is. Maybe if Jeremy, uh, you know you play around with Macs, do you know what that is? Or anybody else that's a Mac user? What the podcast producer is? Sorry, Marissa, that we can't help you on that. But maybe somebody else that watches this later can uh, get back to you about it if you need help or want to know more about it. So just like to thank everybody for coming in. I'm sorry that I probably don't sound the greatest. Uh, still fighting this cold.
as I mentioned before. Judy, I teach at Grace Lutheran in Lancaster, California. I'll put my uh, email in the uh, chat box. If you have any questions, you can email me, or you can find me on Twitter at Coach Burke. Yeah, Judy, if you want to just download the uh, PowerPoints, there's actually uh, two different PowerPoints up there. I put the uh, 07 version and then the 03 version. So depending on what version you have, you can... ...make sure you guys can see. Thank you, Elson. No, I did not see that until just now. Um, as Elson wants to make sure that uh, we see the links that are in the left hand, top left hand screen of your to share information with uh, about the EdTech program, and then there's a res way to register to win a, a free iPod Touch uh, to fill out a, a survey form, and you can do that too every time you visit one of these presentations. Um, this is the last presentation today, but tomorrow there's plenty of presentations. Looking forward to some great speakers tomorrow. Um, so make sure you just click on the different links that there there are on there. Um, also, you can follow the conference on Twitter at 21CLE. Again, thank you for coming. Uh, you guys can leave anytime you want, but if you still have any questions, uh, please let me know. And the schedule events are on there at 21CLE.com. Thank you, Allison. Thank you for coming and helping me out. Thanks, Jeremy. I can't wait to hear your presentation tomorrow. No, Allison, do I need to click anything to stop the recording, or are you going to take care of that?